The NFA 1000 is a completely new low frequency analyzer with data logger. It is a 3D cube for the electrical field, 3D meter for magnetic fields and can record data up to several months on an SD card with full 100,000 measurements per second. Let's go around the NFA. The handling is really user friendly. Remember, when you move all switches to the upper position, you can directly start with the live measurements. The unit LEDs shows you the unit of the displayed values. The NFA always records four channels at the same time. That means if you measure 3D magnetic fields, you will measure one dimensional electrical field in the background. The same way around. If you measure 3D electrical field, you have the one dimensional magnetic field in the background. Always 3D plus one additional option. This additional option will be indicated by its blinking unit LED. And by pressing the mode button, you can switch to this channel. Pressing mode again, jumps back to the 3D size. The position XYZ allows you to indicate the three axes separately. Pressing the mode button will jump from axis to axis. The LEDs on the right side of the display will show you the active axis and in 3D mode they indicate with red the strongest one. Of course you can easily see if you are currently measuring in 3D mode or single axis mode. The LEDs over the display change their color in proportion to their contribution to the total field strength. That means red for the strongest part, yellow for the second strongest and the green LED indicates which bands are active at the moment. The status LED indicates if you are charging the battery with red, if you are just doing a live measurement with yellow or if you are also recording data to the SD card with green. You can remember, status green means I am recording to the SD card. The NFA is intelligent. That means when you connect a grounding cable it will be auto-detected and the NFA switches to the corresponding measurement channel. Also wrong combinations will be recognized. For example, connecting a grounding cable during a reference-free electrical field measurement will be displayed as an error. Next to the ground connection you find the hand electrode input for measuring the body voltage. To do so, just switch to the little man icon below mode to activate the body voltage mode. Connect the hand electrode and a grounding cable and you can easily start to measure. The NFA 1000 as well offers an AC-DC input, a TCO antenna slot, a multifunctional I.O. port, the power supply connection and the USB port. With the signal switch you can choose if you want to measure the true RMS, which is the standard position, if you want to hold the true RMS with true RMS hold, or you choose the peak measurement, which is realized here the first time ever in this sensitivity. With peak you will measure up to the real crest of the signal, not the average value. This will be very important for irregular pulses or dirty power. Below the mode section you may select the automatic mode with auto, this is the standard selection, viewing the separate field strength of each frequency band with band, viewing the exact and strongest frequency of each band with frac, or the body voltage mode. During the observation of separate frequency bands you can easily jump from band to band by pressing the mode button.
The Rec button records audio notes. Simply press the button as long as you speak and the NFA records an audio file, which will correspond automatically to the following log file. Like that you may indicate special circumstances, radiation sources or areas. The symbol of the 3D coordinates explains the three axes of the meter. The electrical field plates are located right under the four housing sites and will be digital transformed into a perfect E-field cube. The isotropic point for the magnetic field is right under the coordinates printing. Last but not least the ON switch. Position ON for just a live measurement, without recording. The lock position for recording the measurements and doing a data logging. Here the NFA also changes into a power saving mode to be able to record as long as possible with its own battery. Here a hint. If you want to record and see the levels at the same time, switch first to lock. Then wait until you see the new lock file number and then you can switch to on position. Now the NFA records all data on the SD card which will be also indicated by the green status LED. Switching from on to lock and back has no influence to the recording now. These are all basic functions of the NFA 1000. You will see that after two or three measurements it will be very easy to handle. Please see also the NFA manual, the other e-learning parts and our new sections. Have fun with your NFA 1000!